Okay, we've been talking a lot about EpiPens lately, but now a cheaper, generic version of the EpiPen will be available in a couple of weeks. Mylan, the man manufacturer of this life-saving allergy treatment, announced the plans yesterday. So the generic will cost about 300 bucks per two-pack. The branded, by the way, EpiPen shot up in price to about 600 bucks for a two-pack. So joining us to talk a little bit about the strategy behind this, what is really going on, Dr. Tim Mackey, right, Assistant Professor Anesthesiology and Global Public Health at UCSD School of Medicine. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks okay. for having me on. Thank you for coming in. Okay, so the first thing is, for people at home that don't know what EpiPen is or what it's used for, let's explain that. Sure, so it's uh, ex essentially it's an emergency uh, medicine or a life-saving medicine uh, to make sure if you have, um, or you're suffering from anaphylactic shock, you can administer it and then your severe allergy will go away. Okay, so life-saving life drug. Life-saving, exactly. Then that's no joke when we say that. Absolutely. And so that's why when Mylan announced or when we started to hear that this product shot up in price to 600 bucks, mm -hmm. Everybody started freaking out. So Mylan took a very interesting approach in creating its own generic. Yeah, and this is part of the whole PR strategy, as I would say, because there's been so much um, public uproar about this increase in price because people don't have access to the drug and they desperately need it. Mm -hmm. The first thing they did was they tried to um, promote their coupon program. Mm -hmm. And through that coupon program, you can reduce the cost of your copay, the amount you pay uh, per whatever insurance carrier you have. And that was their first response. And they also uh, allowed for a more robust patient assistance program. Mm -hmm. And when all of that came out, it didn't work. So essentially they went back and said, well, let's do this other strategy, which is let's create a generic version of our product and hopefully that will appease a lot of the, a lot of the public and a lot of the people that are concerned about drug pricing. Okay, so I'm sure the people that are watching right now are thinking, mm -hmm. uh, my child or I need this life-saving yeah, medicine. Absolutely. Um, is the generic, does it have the same ingredients? Is it going to be as effective as the original EpiPen? Yeah, so the generic version that Mylan is saying that they're going to produce is the exact same drug the exact same application, so the exact same pen, it's ex the exact same product. The only thing that will be different is, of course, the name of the product, which we haven't heard what the name mm -hmm. will be, but there'll be one branded product called EpiPen and one non-branded product called whatever they decide to uh, name yeah. the product. You can think of it as, you know, generic cereal. One is Cheerios, one is toasted oats. Right. But okay. they're the same thing. And I think what's interesting is it's the same company creating exactly. its own generic, which usually when you think of generics, it's we were just discussing this. When mm -hmm. you think of a generic, it's because the 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 trademark or whatever on that particular medication has expired, so other competition starts to pop up. But this is exactly competing with itself. How does that work? Well, in that case, I think it's again more of a marketing or PR issue. Mm -hmm. Now, most people associate generics with a lower price, correct? Right. So if you market your own generic then people are gonna say, hey, well, this issue is kind of covered off. Right. We have a generic that's lower price. It's gonna be half the price, $300. But essentially for a lot of consumers, uh, your insurer may already have a discount uh, with Mylan mm -hmm. and the actual price of the product may not be that different between the branded EpiPen and the generic product. Really? And especially if uh, you're going, you have access to the, the coupon program that Mylan's providing, that's a $300 discount. Uh -huh. So essentially, uh, you know, you may actually pay less with the copay discount on the branded product than you will for the generic product because that coupon may not be available for a generic product. Isn't that interesting? Exactly, so, yeah. okay, so what is the best advice then? I mean, I would, I would suggest, well, I will ask you, what's the best advice? Sure, so absolutely for parents, I mean, myself included, my son has a peanut allergy mm -hmm. and we have two EpiPens and one of the first things that's kind of problematic about this issue is you notice that the expiration date is what, like within a year. Mm -hmm. So for almost all parents and all uh, people that suffer from you know, this particular condition, they're gonna need to address this pretty soon. Yeah. So what I would recommend is look at the prescription drug, uh, drug coupon program and look if you are eligible for it, but at the same time be proactive about understanding how your insurer may change how that copay works mm -hmm. and also how the terms of that coupon program may change as well. Unfortunately, in this case, consumers really have to be informed shoppers, and they have to make the best choice to make sure that they're getting the drug for the correct price. I think perhaps it's very, very important, too, to just reiterate that it's mm -hmm. important when you go to talk to your doctor, and, you know, oftentimes we'll just say, oh, yeah, give me the generic. It's in, and in your mind, mm -hmm. you do so because you say, oh, it's cheaper, it's the same product, but it's cheaper. Yeah. It's important to really be informed because that generic might not actually be 
may not be cheaper for Isn't you. It really depends. And the problem, again, with this situation is Mylan really doesn't have much competition in the marketplace. Or, so none, that's the or full, no competition, exactly. right? <laughs> so that's the full reason why you see these drug price hikes. Mm -hmm. And in, in the reaction is, is all this type of PR that's coming out. But it's, it's emblematic of a larger problem in right. our, in our right. drug uh, All pricing. right, Tim, great right. to talk to you. Thank you so much for your insight into this. We appreciate your time. Thank you very much. All right.